After 50 years, you may think you know the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. But we wanted to get the rest of the story. So we turned to the Fab Five Tribute Band to find out how they made it all come together. With Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, we hope you will enjoy the show. We needed a break. Yeah, yeah you even said on the flight, I'm not a Beatle anymore. Did I say that? You did? He has much better memory than me. <laughs> so, so I thought, you know, why don't we create an album and not be the Beatles? We can be someone else. An in-flight meal for Paul led to a spicy idea. Uh, you know, the whole salt and pepper, you know, became Sergeant Pepper. It was just kind of an idea that popped in my head. The other members were on board too and wanted to take their sound to another level. The Beach Boys, in particular, were doing so many unusual things vocally, and also the effects that they had on the album. And so when you listen to that stuff, it was just very inspiring. We just put our own twist on it, you know, from our side of the pond. And interestingly enough, you know, one of the songs when I was in L.A., got a ticket from a Mita maid by the name of Rita. So I uh, decided to write lovely a song girl. about her. Yeah, she was lovely, my favorite song. Record producer Dan Workman runs the oldest recording studio in the United States, Houston's legendary Sugar Hill Studios, a landmark location that has hosted musical giants from Beyonce to ZZ Top. In recording Sgt. Pepper's, the Beatles used the recording studio as an artist would use a palette of color. Um, they didn't see any, any limitation, and they decided that they were going to totally abandon being able to perform the songs live. And uh, recording was never the same after that. Dan still recalls hearing the album for the first time. It was kind of easy to accept, um, but very radical. It sounded totally different than what I was hearing on the radio, and it made me want to be a Beatle, actually. The studio work was unique for each Beatle. Yes, a lot of sitting around I did, that's for sure. Chess, it's a wonderful game played against yourself. There were four cellos in the studio, and, and uh, uh, I said, gosh, you know, how come I can't play guitar? And you've got all these cellos. And Paul said, well, there's always room for cello. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was the album cover. It elevated the album cover to a piece of art instead of just a piece of information. We wanted to, you know, have colorful uniforms like, like a sergeant would, would be. Getting all those dead people to line up behind us was really <laughs> tough. Yeah, that was. They wanted money. I know. The success blew everyone away. I would say that my uh, best way to uh, measure the success would, would be my bank account. <laughs> so we did pay him then. And how much longer will the Beatles' success continue? It's going to continue for generations to come. I mean, you know, uh, probably centuries. You've got great melodies, great songs. That lasts a lifetime, you know. And the reason the Beatles' music lasts is it produces one. Sergeant Sarge, Sarge Peppers. If there's an artist out there that wants to release the next Sergeant Pepper, I'm available to produce it. Sergeant Peppers, Lonely 